Picture a sprawling empire, its influence stretching from the misty highlands of Britain to the sun-drenched sands of Egypt, its culture and power a beacon to the world. This was Rome at its zenith, a city of unparalleled grandeur. But by the 5th century AD, the Western Roman Empire, once a symbol of might and unity, was unraveling, its full a dramatic and complex process that marked the end of ancient Rome's dominance. The decline of Rome was a multifaceted phenomenon. The empire faced relentless pressure from barbarian tribes, who were themselves driven by various motives. The Huns, led by the fearsome Attila, pushed westward from the steppes of Asia, forcing other barbarian groups like the Visigoths and the Vandals into Roman territory. The Visigoths, led by their king Alaric I, besieged and ultimately sacked Rome in 410 AD. This event was not merely a raid but a profound shock to the Roman world, symbolizing the erosion of imperial authority. Economic troubles compounded the empire's woes. The Roman economy was severely strained by a combination of heavy taxation, rampant inflation, and a reliance on a dwindling supply of slaves. The extensive use of slave labor stifled technological innovation, while the empire's vast size made it increasingly difficult to manage. The administrative machinery of Rome, once a marvel of efficiency, began to creak under the strain. Corruption was rampant, and local leaders often acted more in their own interests than in the interests of the empire. The military, once the backbone of Roman strength, was increasingly compromised. The Roman legions, renowned for their discipline and effectiveness, became overstretched and increasingly relied on barbarian mercenaries. These mercenaries, often of questionable loyalty, were less committed to Rome's defense. Internal conflicts further weakened the military, as rival factions within the empire vie for control, leading to inconsistent and ineffective military strategies. The turning point came in 476 AD, a year that would become symbolic of Rome's fall. The last Roman emperor of the West, Romulus Augustulus, was deposed by Odoacer, a chieftain of the Germanic tribe. Odoacer's decision not to assume the title of emperor himself but instead to rule as king and send the imperial regalia to the Eastern Roman Emperor in Constantinople symbolized the end of the Western Roman Empire. This act marked a significant shift, acknowledging the supremacy of the Eastern Empire and the irreversibility of the Western Empire's decline. The fall of the Western Roman Empire was not merely the end of a political entity but the beginning of a new era. The Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire, continued to flourish for nearly a thousand years after the fall of its Western counterpart. It preserved and adapted many aspects of Roman culture, law, and administration, bridging the ancient and medieval worlds. The legacy of Rome, despite its collapse, lived on through the Byzantine Empire's contributions to art, architecture, and governance. The Roman legal code, for example, laid the foundations for many modern legal systems. The architectural innovations of Rome, from aqueducts to roads, continued to influence engineering long after the empire's fall. Thus, the fall of the Western Roman Empire was not just a dramatic end but a transformation that reshaped Europe. It heralded the beginning of the Middle Ages, a period of profound change and transition, where the echoes of Rome's grandeur would continue to influence the course of history.